Well, hello everyone, my name is Lovespuds and welcome to China for round 3 of my F1 2012 career at Shanghai International Circuit. So my objective is to finish first, uh, so that means I got into Q3 and qualified relatively well. Can I make my objective of 6th? Only time will tell. As, I, as you can see, 8th on the map, as I go a bit wide here, that's not a great start to the lap probably cost me a, a tenth or two maybe. As you can see on the map I'm the last one out, I'm at the back. I chose to do this because every time I end up going onto the track for a flying lap rather than driving out the pits it puts me in the middle of a, a load of traffic. So I backed off and um, decided to let them all go in front of me so I had some clear space in front of me. Um, because it can get a bit messy when the AI is on a flying lap and it's not letting you past. And it gets a bit awkward when you're trying to do your flying lap as well. So it's sometimes best to just let them go. <laughs> because they don't give a damn about you, that's for sure. I have noticed though, for some reason, I don't know if this was a recent patch or anything, but they, the AI seems to be getting out of the way a bit better. Especially if that's what I've noticed. As long as you're sensible about going into a corner when they're trying to get out of the way. If you can predict where they're going to go. Which most of the time you can now for some reason. It seems to have got better. Um, you can actually get past them without any incident. You may, you might have, slow, have to slow down a tiny bit. But still. Anyway, button set no. Hamilton set the fastest lap of 137.6. Let's see what we can do. It's not going to be quite there. It's going to be a tenth off. Close, but no cigar. So we got an all British uh, top three there with Felipe Massa, Reichen, Maldonado, uh, Vettel in front of him, Mark Webber, Grosjean, and then Kobe actually rounds up the top ten. So let's see what sort of start we can get as the lights come on, revving up, and we're off. Not a great start by Hamilton, but a better start by Button, who edges ahead just before the first corner. I'm just uh, braking so I don't end up running into Hamilton there. So Mass is having a sneak peek on my right, but Hamilton's got the inside line, so he should come in front of Massa again, which is true. And I sneak through the middle to take first from Button, who just about manages to hang on to second there. This is good, this is a good start. This is what I wanted to do, get in front. But the hard part is trying to create a gap. Especially with this Mercedes and its uh, dodgy tyre wear. Unless I find a setup that um, reduces the tyre wear quite considerably, I'm always going to have problems throughout the whole season. And that was just a genuine mistake as I go through the Pirelli sign. And Button comes back into the lead. See if I can get on the inside here. Oh, very close. Now I'm going to hit him a little bit and go off a bit wide, but that's not. That's okay. It compromised my run out of this corner, but I'm uh, close enough behind him to get into his slipstream, but I've got to watch out for Hamilton behind me as well. Hamilton's having a look, but I'm going to try and dive up the inside of Button here try not to hit him either. In hindsight I could have uh oh hang on Let's see if I can get around it. Oh <laughs> actually actually ended up um getting attached to button there. Couldn't stop myself. Now Amazon's gonna have a go on the main straight. Got so much better speed than me on the straight. <laughs> I'm gonna go a bit too far on the inside there. On hindsight, I could have done the hairpin a little bit better. I could have got a better run out of there if I didn't keep turning as I went round. But it happens. And now I've got to try and catch up to Button again. Which is easier said than done because Button is extremely quick. And so is Hamilton uh, this season. He's already putting out a little gap. He's six tenths ahead already. And unfortunately, if we don't get... Um, close enough to him by the time lap 3 comes around. I'm not going to be able to get DRS on him. 
sort of struggling a little bit to meet the apexes on a couple of corners, going a bit wide. But that's to be expected from uh, from me, because <laughs> you know I never claim that I'm the best, so you have to uh, get over that one, I suppose. Unfortunately, yep, as you can see, he's already over a second ahead, and it's not even the end of lap two. Unfortunately, let's just try and keep Hamilton uh, a bit of a distance away from me. Don't want him getting easy DRS on me. I have to make it as difficult as possible on this main straight, considering that, um, as I say, the McLaren is a lot faster than me. So I have to make sure I use the curves at the correct time, especially when his DRS opens up. There's a bit of skid marks on there. Someone went off on the last corner, it seems. But no one's out of the race yet. There's still 24 cars, and Hamilton is still trying to look. Went for the outside that time, but it's not going to happen. But I don't know why the AI is actually quite slow around this first corner. I kind of find that weird, considering that they are really quite quick in all the other corners. But in that first corner, it's like they're really overcautious. Um, hey ho, never mind, it helps me out as I've clawed the gap down to seven tenths per second again. Which, looking at the last lap, at this point, it was 6 tenths, so he's actually going away a little bit from me. Depends how well I take these next couple of corners. If there's some way I can just get latch onto the back of him before this main straight, then that would be amazing. 9 tenths, where's the DRS detection line? I think it's this one here. I don't know if it's enough, though. We'll have to see when we get over that DRS activation line, which is going to come up in a little bit. They shortened it this year, I think, if I remember rightly, which is here. And no, we didn't get DRS just outside that second. So we're just going to have to take this corner really well now. Hitting the apex quite nicely there, actually. That was probably the best I've taken at hairpin so far today. It's this last corner that really stuffs me up. I don't know why, but for some reason that last corner, uh, I mess it up quite a bit sometimes. It's quite an irritating corner really, uh, especially when the AI can take it a lot faster than me. But sometimes if I do take it faster, if I push the limit a little bit, then I end up like not having traction and end up losing grip and spinning for some reason. Which is one of the problems I find with this game. That, um, even with... Um, unless your tyres are brand spanking new, I mean if they're like a couple of laps old, you're stuffed. You can't really push it out the corner sometimes, or hold it into the corner without it drifting off. But again, that could also be down to the setup as well. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, that, that was my fault. I can tell when it's my fault and when it's not my fault because I rode the curb a bit too much there, which um, upset the balance of the car a little bit. But there's no way I'm getting DRS on button anytime soon. Looks like he's going to go off into the distance there. 1.7 seconds ahead. But still, never mind. Let's try and keep him at least on the horizon where by the time the pit stops come along. Mass has taken third from Hamilton. I don't know how long that's going to last. Couldn't seem like there was any change there as he went around the hairpin. But I'm going to try and take a bollard out. But I think that one is a. I don't think that one uh, moves very much. I, th I swear I've taken it out before. I love taking out bollards, me. But, but still. Uh, as you can see, Button set a fastest lap of 147. I'm only doing best laps for 141.6. So, I'm a second off the pace anyway over a lap. And that's only going to get worse over the course of the race. Uh, I did a couple of longer distance uh, races recently. I've done a 50% one the other day. And I have to say, I can stay on the pace better in a 50% lap race than I can in a 25% race. I think that's a bit weird. For a start, there's <clears throat> a lock up my front right. 
just makes me think, over a 100% distance, would I just be, like, obliterating them on professional? I just don't know, to be honest. It just seems that in the shorter races, they are faster <laughs> anyway. Um, I don't quite know how that works, but still. But in the 50% race, I was definitely on the pace with them. And I actually finished in a good position, because I'd done a, a quick... Um, I actually done a 50% race of this China circuit, and I actually done pretty well. I was actually keeping up with the guys, setting almost the same sort of lap times uh, they were over the course of the race. And of course, it's not F1 2012 without the chance of light rain just before the end of the race. <laughs> I improved my lap time a bit, but that's still nowhere near Button's 147 and Hamilton's 144. And uh, Hamilton running on full revs. So obviously he's going to appear in my mirrors sometime soon, if not in the next few corners. Wow, I didn't realise it was lap 6 already. Wow, that went quick. So that was my first, fastest first sector of anyone so far. But I'm sure that will change as that button is 2.3 seconds ahead and Hamilton is 1.7 behind. Just trying to get around these. So yeah, I nearly messed it up a little bit there, taking a bit of sign, uh, the Pirelli sign with me, depositing it. Depositing it, oh God. depositing it somewhere on the track. You can see um, my tyres are wearing away more on the front left and the rear right. It's just down to the nature of the track and probably a little bit to do myself as well. But as you can see, it's probably a bit more yellow than it would be if um, if it was like a different car. Because I don't remember my Williams going that badly. The tyres going off that badly, that's for sure. And to be fair, as I dive into the pit lane here, um, at least the game is aware of this because the emails that I get when I go back to the main hub say that the, uh, they're looking at the tyre wear and the tyre wear is poor, so at least it's not my imagination. They really have put in the Mercedes um, trait of uh, ripping their tyres apart within five seconds. So um, it makes me wonder if they can sort that out or if I'm going to end up having a strong start to the first part of the season and then falling off the cliff towards the middle and into the end of the season where the Mercedes had really quite frankly poor results for most of it. Which is why they didn't do very well. Definitely not going to end up being uh, uh, a copy of Rosberg's victory in, in China. This one, because Button is well out in front. Um, he's uh, he's actually got a car between uh, me and him anyway at the moment. So unless I can catch Petrov and pass him quickly. Uh, I've got no chance of catching up to Button just yet. Just me doesn't help when I go wide either. But I should at least have DRS on Petrov if I didn't spin. <laughs> Nearly spin. And if that didn't happen, maybe I would have actually overtaken Petrov before this before this happened here. But at least I still got the DRS, which may makes me catch up uh, quite considerably after that mistake. As Petrov peels into the pits. Caterums are doing well this year. They seem to be like up in the midfield. Got even Schumacher's in front of me. <laughs> oh, it was. But he's in the pits now. Now I need to get past Hamilton again, who's actually managed to come out in front of me. Didn't realise he was going to go quite that slow, so that's why I went into the back of him there. 
almost tapped him. I just tried to not, you know, I, I, I eased off the gas a bit before uh, okay, I actually went smacked into right him properly. But still, I uh, got back ahead of Hamilton, which is what I, what I needed to do. Now I need to hold off, hold off his advances before the end of the race. It's still a little way to go. We're only just about over halfway, so the race is nowhere near over yet. Unfortunately, Button's trying to create a gap, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be successful in that one. As I nearly spin out again. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me at the minute, but I seem to be getting on the power a bit too early sometimes. And combined with the fact that um, the tyre wear on this bloody car is, is abysmal, that doesn't help whatsoever. And of course, excessive wheel spin will wear your back tyres as well. As I uh, take this first, this last corner. Apparently, I'm keeping up with race pace, even though the race pace is at least a second quicker than me. But still, never mind. <clears throat> and I go wide. Brilliant. As if to make things worse. See, so that's the problem when I when I push it a little bit too far. I've got no grip and just slide off wide. <clears throat> hey ho. It happens. So, not much has been going on this week in the world of F1. Uh, Ferrari have signed Pedro de la Rosa now that HRT are no longer uh, in the running. They have gone, they have disappeared. They finally admitted that they're. Uh, no longer alive, should I say. But they've signed De La Rosa as a development driver. Nothing to do with race seats or anything, of course, because obviously they're keeping uh, Felipe Massa on and Alonso, of course. So he's going to be a development driver for a while, so that's good. that's good for him. Although, obviously, he'd want to be in a competitive race seat. It's not going to happen at the moment as Hamilton tries to make a move on the inside. Luckily, I'm going to outbreak him. But, no. No, he's coming back. I thought, I really thought I was going to take that back then. And there's no way I was going to squeeze up there easily. So, well, I'd be going down the straight almost side by side, but he's got a little bit better acceleration than me. So I'm going to have to slot him behind and overtake him on this first bend. <clears throat> That's for some reason, they are really slow. Just about moved back in head with four laps to go. Five. One of the two. But still. <clears throat> Yeah, buttons run away with it. 7.7 .7 seconds. I finally switched the fuel mixture up to rich. Don't want to use that too early, otherwise I'll run out of fuel before the end. And I kind of need the extra boost. Especially now I'm getting assaulted from all angles, it seems. Uh, what else? Uh, all the car reveals... Um, uh, February the 4th. Uh, February the 5th, should I say, is the day uh, pr uh, the winter testing begins at Jerez in Spain. And most and uh, most of the cars will be revealed between the 31st of January and February the 5th. So if you want to see what the new cars look like, that's the sort of time frame you need to be looking out for them. 31st of January onwards. Uh, I can't remember who's um oh, it's McLaren who was launching on January the thirty first. Force India, as far as I know, still haven't announced their two drivers and there's still one seat left at Caterham for someone, whoever that may be. I'm sure there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, but surely Force India should 
announce their drivers soon. Maybe they already have uh, signed up a couple of drivers, but they're not announcing them yet for some reason. I don't know why they would do that. Beats me. Because surely they've got to have seat fittings as well for the drivers, because they're individually made for each driver. So, surely they've got to say who it is soon. Seeing as at the testing is only about two weeks away or so, just over two weeks away. So surely they've got to announce it soon. But still, only three seats left. There's time running out for quite a few people who we might not see this year. I mean, I heard Al Gaspari was coming back to a midfield team. The only option he's got now is Force India. But how likely that's actually going to be, I don't know. Obviously, it depends on many things. Sponsorship being one of them. But, um... <clears throat> but, yeah. I don't know. I really have no idea who's going to end up in the Force India seats. I expect Jules Bianchi has a, a good shout of it being this year. I'd probably expect him to be in the seat by 2014 because of his participation in the Ferrari Driver Academy. And he could, and Force India are, are trying to get um, Ferrari engines possibly for the new turbo era. And if they get Jules Bianchi, they were hoping to get a a deal, a special deal on the engine. And of course, if that doesn't happen, then uh, if they can't get a deal, then I, I don't know if Jules Bianchi would get a shout. But he is the third driver anyway, so he's probably got a good chance. <laughs> But whatever, we'll see what happens. As you can see, 8.3 seconds to button. It's not gonna. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. Especially not if I can't keep it on track. Well, actually, I do keep it on track there, but um, yeah. You saw what happened. Of course, you did. I switched it down a bit. Probably didn't need to at the minute, but I just didn't want to run out of fuel. Not now. But before that incident where I nearly, uh, nearly tried to spin out, Hamilton was nearly two seconds behind me. So I've thrown that one out the window, and now he's half a second behind me. As button sets a 139.8. Actually, I didn't realise my fastest lap was a bloody 139.9 so I actually did improve at some point but um, that last lap was a 141 so that's where Hamilton came back at me still not over yet though Hamilton Hamilton's now 2.5 seconds behind me I don't know what the hell is going on with that first corner but it's definitely not good for the, the AI now having to lift off a tiny bit because I don't have much grip. These tyres feel... These tyres feel absolutely awful. I mean, I was, that's what I was thinking um, when I was playing this. I was like, oh, for God's sake. Just going off everywhere. I have to go slow, slow around some of these corners. So, really a lot slower than I really would want to go. <laughs> that's for sure. This is what happens. Towards the end of the race, the Mercedes just completely drops off the pace. Especially when the tyres start going off. I don't know why it showed me that. Probably because my brakes were too cold or something. That was, that was something stupid as well. Your brakes are too cold. I can't remember if that was in the... Uh, this game war 2011, but they definitely kept saying that after a long straight. And I was thinking, what the hell do you expect? I don't need the brakes on a straight. As I go off here, this could be a very big problem. 
Hamilton nearly got me there. There are little drops of rain coming down. I don't know if that's affecting anything, but that's definitely not going to help. As Hamilton just slides past me. Easy as anything. That was a combination of uh, my tyres and having crap on my tyres from the grass and all that. So that definitely didn't help, so now I'm in big trouble. Unless I can keep on Hamilton's backside, I'm not going to get back anytime soon. Just need to keep him in the DRS zone. If I can, it doesn't look likely because I'm going to be able to wide off everywhere. We might be outside the second. Ooh, eight tenths. Come around this corner. But it feels really slippery, even though it's. But it's not like it's not slippery as such. But the rain's making me think it's actually making a difference, and I'm way too far off to have a good DRS pass on Hamilton here. And unfortunately, I'm just a little bit too far back to make a move. But anyway, Jensen's won the race. Looks like it's going to be a McLaren 1-2 as Hamilton goes around the last corner. I thought I was going to mess it up then, which is why I paused. But, even so, a respectable third place, even though I really should have hung on for the second place. Finished way ahead of Michael Schumacher, who finished in ninth. But it's good day for Great Britain as we have all three drivers on the podium. Fifteen points for my championship challenge. Let's see where it takes me in the standings. So you got Weber, Raikkonen, Kobayashi, Grosjean, Vettel, Schumacher, Senna, Perez, Maldonado. Not a brilliant day for Williams there. Good day for Caterham, Petrov and Kovalainen, Ricardo, Alonso, Dan is 16th. Hulkenberg, Glock, Duress of Vern, Cotacane, De La Rosa, Peak, and Felipe Massa, who did not finish for some reason. So there we go. You've held on to second in the driver's championship. There we are, we've just about hang on to hung on to second in the championship. If I took the second place, I could have been in the lead. But still, never mind. Looks like it's gonna be a tight battle between the, the British drivers this year. Lonzo, 13 points behind Jensen, so it's a bit tight up the top, but uh, it's only, um, why is the screen flashing? <laughs> yeah, it's only the third round, still a long, long way to go. And uh, the constructors, McLaren at the top, as usual, with 95 points, 72 points for Mercedes. Ferrari following close-ish behind on 57. Then Red Bull, Lotus, Williams, Sauber, Caterham moving up to 8th. Torosso, Force India, Marussia, and then HRT at the back. <coughs> so yeah, eh, not too bad. If I can keep up these run of podiums, uh, that would be amazing. But uh, let's see what we can do in Bahrain, a track that has a really dodgy corner in my opinion on it, but you'll see that next time. I'll see you then.